I was uh, recently in a meeting with the police from the head of police for the Corozal district and head of the police for the free zone. We have a zoom in, we have a unit placed here for the police. And it seems as though this information is all uh, fake news. Huh? Okay. So um, we are not being like a digital about anything here. So we still met to discuss what would be the strategy uh, forward. There is no um, reason to, to frighten or alarm anyone at this point in time. And we don't want to frighten away our uh, shoppers and have the, the, the investors feeling uneasy. But then um, there is no such threat right now. Okay. And uh, we don't want to escalate something and come out with news that is unnecessary. One thing that we have to keep in mind is that maybe the reason why this is coming up as, as much more of a concern is the recent killings in Chetumal. Right. We know at this point in time that Chetumal and the entire country of Mexico is undergoing a political process. Mm -hmm. And so they are, there's a lot of propaganda, a lot of propaganda that is being circulated to, in a way, uh, try to suppress voters from coming out or from for trying to keep the public uh, away from the governmental bodies or uh, for, for the public to lose confidence in the governmental bodies that exist at this point in time. As a matter of fact, uh, as it relates to the banner, the banner cannot be identified. It hasn't been found. It originates from a source that from the metadata of the picture seems to be from a year ago. In relation to what we are doing in the zone is to keep informed. We have to keep informed. We have to work and liaise with the Corozal, the Corozal Police Department, the Belize Police Department. They are very, very skilled and very knowledgeable of the topics that we are currently going through. And of course, we have we must liaise this information with the general public and with our investors. This is one step that we take in order to, to liaise this information. And of course, as Sherman said, the second step will be to also inform the stakeholders, which are investors and the staff of the zone.